success is obviously it's not an accident strain every nerve and crack the civil services examination at the end they will become civil servants and they will do better than officers like me she appeared she cracked she not only cracked in fact she topped the civil service examination she stood first the ias gives you enormous power it gives you enormous courage and veranda ias is ready to uh, play a role to guide at this point of time now i request our chief mentor yusagayam ias to address about the launch of axa dear mr bharat siman mr elanjelian mr vignesh mr ganapati mrs durga devi mr patiban the staff of the academy both administrative and academic dear guests who have come here and the students who are the future civil servants future hope of this country welcome to you all i am immensely pleased to be part of this grand inauguration of this unique and noble holistic residential program this is unique and novel because it's a first of its kind in the nation normally in the coaching centers that are existing in any bigger cities there the preparation is confined to the coaching centers but in veranda ias the preparation gets extended to their place of stay this a program is unique and novel in terms of a different and uh, divergent environment in terms of the classroom ambience uh, in terms of the library facilities that are offered the study room allotted in terms of the competent uh, faculties in terms of considerate mentors in terms of capable and experienced administrators and therefore i would like to say that this is unique and novel i genuinely hope and truly believe that the students who are here they will utilize this opportunity to the best of their advantage i hope they will set clear goals plan meticulously work hard strain every nerve and crack the civil ser civil services examination at the end they will become civil servants and they will do better than officers like me i wish you all success success is obviously is not an accident it is an achievement out of a great hard work i truly hope that the students will not feel hesitant to utilize this opportunity and they will become surely civil servants in the days to come look at the history even the history of civil services examination you know one uh, lady candidate era single by name she was differently able to physically challenged she also appeared for the civil services examination 2010 11 she was able to crack the examination and she was obviously eligible for posting in indian revenue service irs but she was denied the administration was was not willing to take her because of her disability she suffered from a specific disability like you know locomoto disability to an extent of 62% and therefore she was denied uh, entry into the service but ira singhal never quit never surrendered never stopped she was prepared to, to she was prepared to fight to the last in fact she approached the cat the central administrative tribunal and fought to tooth and nail at the end after 4 years the cat to the central administrative tribunal directed government of india to give her posting in fact she was uh, fighting in the tribunal for 
four long years at the same time simultaneously she was preparing for civil service examination consistently she was writing the fourth attempt in 2014 this this physically challenged differently abled lady candidate ira singhal she appeared she cracked she not only cracked in fact she topped the civil service examination she stood first in the country today today she is an ias officer a candidate like ira singhal who had really crippling disability and she was able to crack and become civil servant why not you i truly hope that veranda ias will will give the best i sincerely and genuinely believe that you will take it in right fashion utilize this opportunity to become future civil servants i think it is glaringly obvious the competition in civil service examination is high and huge the syllabus is vast and large the examination pattern at times uh, tougher and tricky the upsc at times it becomes notoriously unpredictable in terms of you no know, offering you shocks and surprises in the pattern of question and veranda ias is ready to uh, play a role to guide at this point of time i sincerely hope you will utilize this great opportunity to become the future civil servants what one can do after becoming a civil servant really you can become an ias to start with it is assistant collector training the next is sub collector thereafter additional collector then the district collector or the district magistrate thereafter hod head of the department like you know transport commissioner the commissioner civil supplies the department like you know agriculture director and so on so forth then you become secretary then chief secretary then cabinet secretary then post retirement opportunities like you know great opportunity like you know the election commissioner chief election commission of india central vigilance commissioner and in good number of humpty number of tribunals you will be posted you will be appointed you have greater empty number of many large opportunities to serve this country it gives you power it gives you courage i remember one of the ias officers in tamil nadu i don't name him and he was there in cortex as md as md when he went there as md cortex the cortex was a loss making entity for uh, see for a pretty longer period like you know 13 years or 14 years so that was a condition prevailing there so he thought as an ias officer as md he thought that this entity after all it is meant for poor for weavers it is an apex weavers cooperative society and therefore he had this ias officer had greater compassion towards the fellow citizens including farmers including weavers and the toiling workers and therefore he had greater compassion for the weavers and he thought that this entity the loss making entity should be converted into a profit making organization trade organization therefore he announced and implemented good number of novel programs novel programs but he had certain difficulties from the political executives like you know minister one day the minister asked asked this ias officer to allot a room in cortex headquarters he said you know he he immediately responded we don't have a adequate no spacious room in a cortex uh, headquarters the minister was not happy two times or three times the minister asked him but he was not willing to offer a room because certain difficulties that will affect you know, uh, that will affect the functioning of cooptex then orally she asked at the at the end she directed the secretary who is the senior 
the superior officer to this IAS officer to allot a room of that superior officer secretary, he wrote a letter requesting this uh, IAS officer, the MD Cortex, to allot a room. Now he has received a written request. He is supposed to reply in writing. So this IAS officer writes. He writes boldly, courageously he writes, the minister he has got a spacious room in the, head, the secretariat. Number one, the minister being MLA of local constituency, Anandagar constituency, and therefore, the minister being MLA has got an office in Anandagar. When the minister has got two offices, there is no need for minister to ask the MD Cortex to allot another room in Cortex because Cortex has a small office. Therefore, he writes that when a minister has got two offices, there is no need for another office to be located in the headquarters of Cooptex. And he says that the, the headquarters of Cooptex has very limited space. He writes, and he also writes, if minister comes to this office and stays for a while, maybe under the pretext of redressing the grievances of uh, weavers, uh, staff, and so on and so forth. When she comes to the headquarters of Cortex, there will be large number of party men who will come and gather there. Such a crowd are gathering that, that is going to be present in the headquarters of Cortex will affect the functioning of that entity. All that he has narrated, and therefore at the end, he said, I am sorry, I am not in a position to allot a room for the occupation and functioning of the minister. So that's how this IAS officer has written. On the receipt of this letter, the secretary informed the minister that this MD has written in a negative manner, rejecting our request. The minister got angry and agitated. The minister this time directed the secretary, you give a direction to the IAS officer to allot a room. There's another letter this IAS officer received and now it is not the request, it is the direction from the government, direction from the secretary. I am directing you to allot a room within 24 hours and you are supposed to send a report on the action taken. And within 24 hours this officer wrote back saying, I am sorry, I have, I have indicated certain reasons and conditions in the previous letter. The condition has not changed and therefore my reply also is not going to change. The same is the reply, I am sorry I am not in a position to allot a room for the occupation and functioning of the minister. Same is the reply he has sent. Thereafter the minister never came to this officer. I don't want name this officer, you may be knowing or may not be knowing. What I am trying to say, that IAS officer has got, no, the IAS gives you enormous power. It gives you enormous courage. There is another example, with that I will conclude. There was another collector, district collector in a particular district. Particular district. One day when he was collector, he received a, uh, he received a telephone from a Tasildar. From a Tasildar. And the Tasildar says, uh, in a particular village, in a particular village, the people of that village started ag agitating, started organizing agitation. Then suddenly, the, you know, this uh, collector sent uh, another deputy collector along with the Tasilar to go and find out. And the deputy collector and the Tasilar came, narrating the whole incident. The issue is, the government had issued a GVO. The government had issued a GVO, permitting some miners to mine extract granite in particular hillock, which is a very large hillock in a particular district, in a particular taluk. A particular miner was uh, permitted to extract granite from that hillock. But that hillock is not an ordinary hillock. It is historically significant because it has a certain structures dating back 200 BC which means 220, uh, 200 and, sorry, 2,200 years historical significance that the hillock has. And it has a certain temples. 
and around the hillock you have large number of tanks and lakes which are essential source for the irrigation and drinking of that you know see for that village now the collector should decide if he decides against the miner and the collector will be in trouble if he uh, if uh, if he decides against the miner and for the farmers the collector will be in trouble but in case he supports the activity of miners there is no problem for the collector but this district collector he had greater compassion and sympathy for the ordinary farmers the ordinary villagers and therefore he decided not to implement the gvo and he stopped that mining work uh, on the uh, he stopped that mining work and that hillock was protected but he was thrown away the hillock that was protected 10 years ago now it is declared as a biologic uh, biodiversity heritage site by the same state government what i am trying to say if an ias officer remains courageous if an ias officer remains honest i think he has he he can do greater things i i would like to tell you because of the action taken by that specific collector the entire state of tamil nadu the granite mining excepting that particular district in the entire state the mining is intense the exploitation and extraction is intense and the destruction and devastation is really great what i am trying to convey if a civil servant is honest if a civil servant is upright if a civil servant works with the conviction and courage you can really serve the nation i would like to uh, indicate i would like to indicate now that as future civil servants as future ias officers future ips officer you can do greater things i wish you all success you be intelligent to grab the opportunity offered by veranda ias it's a unique program we are all with you and you have to it is up to you to utilize this opportunity thank you so much all the best thank you so much sir for your enlightened talk Veranda IES, where your dream becomes reality.